kiss her it kiss says her. everyone we got so many questions or um, people ask us to kiss each other yeah guys okay you know what all right fine let's do it let's do it Hey everybody and welcome to another Q&A with Sandra, uh, except this is her last video. <laughs> Can you do that actually? Here, do a guh 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 Do my, do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a q and A. I I asked you guys on Twitter to give uh, just some of your final questions and stuff because Sandra is moving away. And uh, it's there's a good chance this will be like probably her last video, but maybe not, you know, right? Maybe not. Maybe in the future there'll be for something. Now. I don't know, but for now, it's it's gonna be a while. So we got some questions both from my Twitter and Sandra's Instagram. Instagram. You can follow her on Instagram, by the way. Link in the description below. Actually, yeah, if you if you're really gonna miss her, and you know, it's not like she's dying; she'll still yeah. be alive. You can go follow her on Instagram and it's stay tuned. Adventure with her. in Montreal. Yeah. Sandra's adventures. So there you go. <laughs> but anyways, to get into it, the first question is from Brooklyn Sparks, and she says, "What was your least favorite subject in school, and why?" How about you go first? Mathematic, and I still not good in mathematic. And math? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I was math was one of my favorites. I would say English was my least favorite. You speak English. No, but like English as in English as in like literary arts. Oh, okay. Like you have to read you have to read like Shakespeare mm -hmm. and write on and stuff and ugh. Yeah, I was a lot more into like math and physics and stuff like that in school. No, I'm not good in that at all. So. No. Next question is from Ash15. Dennis, if you weren't a YouTuber, what would you be? Uh, oh, I would be, uh, I'd be into uh, computer science. I'd be coding at a computer. You geek. Yeah, that's just, uh, it's all I really ever thought I would do. I was really into, in my draw my life, I talk about how I really wanted to make video games. And I was gonna do that, I was kinda like on the path to that, that's what I was taking in university, and then YouTube started, and I like this a lot better, so. And you're good at it. Good. And I'm good, good at, at it, it apparently. <laughs> well, thank you. You're I would, welcome. if you, if you, what, what are you gonna be, Sandra, actually? Here you go, let's, let's get your, your face in here more. Here we go. Uh, I just finished my diploma in tourist management, so. Um, management. Man management. So um, something in tourism, and I like events. Uh, I would like to have my own uh, board games bar. I would really like to have my board game bar. Like you go yeah. and you play with board game because I love board games. That'd be so much fun. Imagine a building where you go and, and you sit down and you maybe have some food, like a snack, and then there's like a bunch of, there's like hundreds and hundreds of board games to choose from. That does sound like a lot of fun. Yeah. I hope your dream comes true. Thank you. I really do. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Okay, thank you, Ash, um, for the question. Okay, it's from Kobe. Kobe. Kobe, Kobe sorry. Uh, why is Sandra's leaving? Because um, it's been a year now that I'm here in BC and I'm missing home, so I'm from Montreal. So uh, I'm more opportunity are there for me there, and I miss my family and my friends, so I'm going to go back home for a little while, and we'll see after. So I'm traveling all the time. I she left home. Out. She went all the She's home, all her family's there, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's understandable, but it's very sad. It is. But you never know. You never know okay. what's gonna happen. Anything can happen going forward, so we'll see. We're not all... We're not, we're not crying yet. Now, the Pals fan asks, If you could visit any continent, what would it be? Africa! I was gonna say Africa, too. <laughs> I wanna Obviously, go see Africa. Yeah, I want to go on like some big safari adventure or something. Let's go together! Yeah? Yeah, let's do it. We go look at tigers and elephants. Yeah, and lions. I love lions. We watch a lot of Planet Earth, mm -hmm. so that's I'll probably like the main <laughs> thing. Yeah, like all the time. Well, anyways, thank you the Pals fan for the question. And now from Caitlin, can you, can you two, I'm gonna assume that means two, can you, can you two do a handshake, a special one? Okay, you want to come up with a handshake? Okay. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> there's our handshake. That was, that was good. Oh yeah, that was good. Good job. Yeah. There's our handshake. Thank you, Caitlin. And now from Abigail. Oh, actually, this is a question for me. Sorry. I can say it. Okay. Uh, 
So I'm Abigail. Uh, are you and the Pauls going to move in together in the future? PS, best YouTuber ever. Ooh, thank you, Abigail. Mm. Um, I'm not moving in with the Pals, the group, but I am moving in with Coral in, uh, in like two weeks. It's kind of, we kind of timed it so it's like, Sandra's leaving, I really, really need to replace her, so we're replacing her with Coral. <laughs> <laughs> because no, otherwise I'm just alone. Last week we are working, uh, baby people you've seen on my Instagram, me, Dennis and Cole were working on the decoration of the new home. It's really, yeah. really fun. It's a really nice home. I hope you're going to enjoy it. Oh, man. Probably Dennis is going to do a house tour. Oh yeah, I'm, gonna do, I'm definitely going to do a house tour for you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. But yeah, to answer your question, Abigail, I am moving in with Coral. There is, everyone's going to be visiting, like Alex, Sub, Sketch, even Fletch. He's going to be visiting as well. Uh, Sam's probably gonna visit too, like Samantha Strange. My Sam too. And then her <laughs> Sam as well, absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, the whole gang's gonna be there, but yeah. From Ella, Ella? Ella Just, oh. Johansson. Johansson, Johansson. Dennis, how old as you when you move out from your parents' house? How old was I? Uh, I was, I moved out when I was 18 because I was going to university. I don't think I was... I don't think I was 17. I, yeah, I was. I was full. Yeah, I was fully 18 when I moved out, and then I'm assuming you as well, actually. No. When did I you was, move out? I moved when I moved to the glacier, so I was 23. Oh, oh yeah, because you. Oh right, because um, you went to university in Montreal. Yeah, I didn't have to. Move uh, okay. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. So 18, 18 for me. That's young. I think it's young. Yeah. But I think it's working different because you're far away from university, so you have to move to the university. Yeah. Like, I I don't know. It, it, 18, really, moving out at 18 really isn't that bad at all, especially if you're going to university because yeah. you just, like, live. If you're living Other on campus, people. there's, like, yeah, yeah everyone else true. there is, like, in the same boat as you. And true. I don't know. My parents were still, like, supporting me and stuff, so it's not like I was, like, fully alone and independent. But, yeah. Ahmed asks, how old is Sandra? I'm going to have 25 really soon, June 3rd, it's my birthday, I've, 25 years old. Her birthday is so close to mine, when's June 5th, we're going to celebrate Sandra's birthday and then we're going to have to celebrate mine. We can't celebrate both of them at the same time, it has to be two separate celebrations. But we're not going to be together. We can celebrate on... Skype? On Skype, <laughs> there you go, you can put a video and yeah. then I can watch your celebration. <laughs> I just hit the mic, I'm so sorry. 25, she's 24 right now. A so. long run to go. Yeah, yeah no, you're still young, don't worry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Smiley Face asks, if you could be any object, what would you be? This. This? Yeah. Wait, this? Like a mouse? Yeah, because you have massage you? all day. <laughs> that's not a bad, that's not a bad idea, I guess. It's kind of okay. Um, but no, you're also getting like dragged yeah, around. Imagine true. being like, whoa, whoa. That's you know? true. Oh, your hair did a super effect. <laughs> Um, um, if I had to be any object, a mouse isn't that bad of an idea. Something really heavy so that maybe you don't get, maybe like a car, because you're going around or you're traveling. Oh that my god. Boring. Oh no, maybe not. I was going to say trash. Trash? Because you can eat all the time. But it would be but smelly. It's trash. But it's it, yeah, smelly. it would be smelly. And then uh, if you were. I'm not good at this. <laughs> if you were something else, that's hard. It, it has to a be. A bed? No. No, because then you're just sitting again. I don't know. Hmm. Ooh. What if you were like a tag on like an animal's ear or something? So that you're with an animal all the time no. and you're traveling. Maybe all the time. a maybe a, a phone. So a I phone. know everything. I'm super Whoa, intelligent. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Until you get thrown out or someone breaks yeah, you. That's hard. You have a very short lifespan. <laughs> that's a really hard question actually. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below your ideas of what a good mean? object to be because that is a, that is a tough one i'm trying to think of it like logically but anyways thank you for the question courtney says okay, here, i wait. think he's just there so courtney say prank call sam i miss you in the video sandra i will miss you too uh, right so there. we have to prank sam. Uh, to prank sam i was thinking that we can like tell him do you hear me guys <laughs> we can yeah, like yeah, tell can. him that we break something that he likes yeah that'd be good we got a prank call sam so uh, are you saying that he's home? I think he's, he's, he's pooping. Going. He's pooping. Right I think now. he's pooping. Oh yeah. no. Maybe you should call him and ask how his poop is going. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Completely different from what we had <laughs> planned. <laughs> <laughs> Does he know you're recording right now? We don't know. Okay. Okay. Hello? 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 Hello
Hello. Hey, babe. Are you home? Yeah, I'm in the bathroom. What are you doing? I was just waiting for you to be done. You're waiting in the bathroom that I'm done? Got <laughs> <laughs> the phone. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Oh, jeez. Hey, <laughs> what's going on? Hey. Oh, no. Go say hi. Come, just just go say, come say hi. Oh, uh, we were supposed... Okay, we were trying to prank call you. They you can work. just say hi. You don't have to hi. do like a joke or anything. <laughs> they didn't work. I'm That's, sorry, um, Courtney. <laughs> you guys saw him before, though. It's we were, me. We were supposed to prank call you. We were going to... Tell you that we broke your glasses. Yeah, but that uh, you were just pooping instead. I was in the so. bathroom. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking you were pooping. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's okay. I did my best. Bye, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, bye. Oh, so he wasn't Fail. even pooping. We couldn't even... <laughs> but what he was doing in the toilet? It's weird. I was just... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, well, there you go, Courtney. I hope that prank call was good enough was for funny. you. <laughs> <laughs> didn't work. Okay, this question's from Instagram. Yeah, it's from my Instagram. So it's from Holtz. Okay, O L T S U W W. Holtz sweet. Say, I have a question for the Q and A to Sandra. Uh, how did you and Sam meet, and how long have you been dating? So how me and Sam meet? It's a really cute story. So um, two years ago, I, I go work at the Columbia Iceville in Jasper in Alberta. And some too, we didn't meet each other yet. And we meet on a glacier. Ooh, yeah, in a glacier romantic. in the Rockies. And it's been uh, close to a year and a half now that we're dating and it's going super well. Yay, it is really romantic. Saying that you can meet someone on a, on a glacier, glacier is really nice. Yeah. That's cool. Thank you for the question. Now from Kiana. If you got offered to skydive, would you be brave enough to do it? Yes, 100% yes. I'm not even getting offered to skydive. I'm going to go and just skydive. I was well, actually- I'm better than you. I did it already. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you went skydiving? Yeah. Oh yeah, you told me that, you told me that. Yeah. When did this happen? Ah, it was maybe three years ago. Three years ago, it's, jeez. It's really, it's, I was crying. I was in the plane crying. I was oh, so scared. Man. Oh, it's, it's gonna be so, so scary. High, but it's so fun, I will do it again. Yeah. But when you think about it, it's so dumb. People are jumping, jumping out of plane. plane. <laughs> yeah, I'm planning to do it. I'm planning to do it this summer, probably with Coral and then whoever else wants to join me. Mm -hmm. um, I can probably film it for you guys. I can cool. put it up on YouTube if you guys want to see that. Yeah, I'm probably going to go. Uh, there's a skydiving place really close here, actually. It's like a half an hour drive. It's that way. It's actually in that direction where I'm pointing. One thing, though, I'm not sure if I will do it. It's bungee. Oh, bungee so jumping scared because scary. you have to by yourself say I'm jumping. Yeah. Well, no, you can get pushed off. I will. I will say <laughs> push me because I will never yeah, jump. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to jump. No. Oh, it's just no. That for some reason that's scarier. <laughs> for some reason, being tied is scarier than. Imagine is the elastic just. <laughs> Yeah, or if like, I don't know, you like fall and like oh, break yeah. all your if, bones. Oh, jeez, no, oh, no. I don't know. Yeah, too scary. I don't like it. I don't want to do bungee jumping. Sketches Bay asks, would you ever go on tour with Sketch, Coral, Alex, and Sub? I would love to. I don't know. Like, we have to wait for the opportunity to kind of present itself. I mean, I don't know. I can discuss it with them. I don't really know where we would go, though. Would we go in Europe? Would we go in America? Both? Maybe. What would we even do? What would we do like on stage? Just sign hang, autograph. Hang out, and sign people. autographs. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Maybe you guys can give us Sing. some ideas. Sing. Do you want to know something, guys? He's going to be mad at me. But Dennis know the Frozen song by Hurt. Oh, yeah. Let it go. Frozen. Let <laughs> yeah. it go. And he's really yeah. good at it. I know. Let it go. Fine. No, but who doesn't? You love it. <laughs> who doesn't know the me? Let it go lyrics? You don't know I the Let It Go lyrics. Let It Go. Oh, well, yeah. Let It Go. <laughs> I really do like that song. And he's dancing, too. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> to answer your, your question, Sketches Bay, uh, sure, I'd love to go on tour. I'm sure we will do it eventually in the future. I just don't know where and I don't know what we would do, but that'd be cool. Okay. Now, from official the De Falcon, Falcon White. If you never met the Pauls, who will you hang out with and record with? Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Make a video every day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I was already with 
like I was already with half the pals before the pals kind of became a group. I was already recording with Coral and Fletch. I was friends with them for the last like six years. So um, whenever I met Alex Sub and Sketch, that's whenever like we actually became the pals. So if I wasn't with the pals, I guess I would still just I would still be recording with Coral, and then maybe Fletch would be in there as well. I can't really think of anybody else I would record with, honestly. I don't know. Anyways, thank you for the question. Now from Annie. Where is Sandra's moving to? Country. I'm staying the same country. Canada is a huge country. Huge country. So right now we are on the west coast, the mm. west side of Canada. West and side. West side. <laughs> and I'm going back to the east side, uh, oh, where okay. people speaking French in Montreal. So um, Montreal is in Quebec. And yeah. Which is in Canada. Which is it's on the Canada. all the way on the it's other really side of the country. It's really far away. It's like it takes me the same time for Montreal to go in France or so in Paris than come here. Yeah. It's crazy. Six hours of plane. Anyways, but West Side will always be better than East Side of Canada. Even though Montreal is great. Overall, I, I see, West I Coast. I love both of sides. West Coast is so nice. I, I I'm a Canadian. And, and now, the last... <laughs> it's not really a question. Okay, what do, you, what do you think of this, Sandra? Do I have to say it? Kiss her. It Kiss says, her. everyone, we got so many questions or... Um, People ask us to kiss each other. Yeah. Guys. Okay. You know what? All right, fine. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. She has a boyfriend. <laughs> Obviously, we're not gonna kiss. <laughs> oh my god, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. Well, anyways, that was that was that. Um, That's the end. Like I said earlier, Sandra's not dead. You can go follow her on Instagram. Yeah. She'll still be going through adventures. She'll be having a great time. And follow um, me for my summer. Yeah, she's gonna have she's gonna have probably a really nice cool summer. summer as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, anyways though, guys, thank you, thank you for watching. I'm gonna miss you, Sandra. Miss you too. I'm gonna miss you a lot. It's okay. We'll keep in touch though. We will. But anyways. Bye bye, guys. I love you. Bye, guys. Bye.